Germany's parliament has passed new immigration reforms that would make it easier for skilled workers to come from abroad to work. Now, the parliament here in Germany has backed a new law making it easier for trans transgender, intersex and non-binary people to use their preferred gender identity in legal documents. Every couple of months there seems to be major changes being made to laws in Germany and some of them are pretty interesting such as the fact that now adults can now freely smoke marijuana without being arrested. What the f- Boy ain't no way boy. Boy ain't no way boy. Boy ain't no way boy. So it got me kinda thinking. What other interesting or weird laws, rules, regulations or just cultural norms that exist in Germany that a lot of people may not be aware of, especially if you're a foreigner? After quite a bit of research, I've come across a few of them and in case I may have missed any, kindly let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get started. We'll kick off with the most recent change of law that has split opinions in the past couple of months and that is the fact that after 40 years, it is now legal to smoke marijuana in Germany. Okay, well, it kinda is. There are rules and regulations restricting its usage, like for example, as an adult, you are only allowed to grow a maximum of three cannabis plants at home and possess only up to 25 grams in public. You also can't consume the product around schools, playgrounds, youth facilities, and obviously minors cannot smoke. However, from July 2024, there will be cannabis social clubs that will be allowed to sell products. So just think of your regular local bar, but now it only serves marijuana. Pretty cool, right? Next, we move on to the subject of how your car can land you in trouble. When using the autobahn, you know, the road that does not have any speed limits whatsoever, it is illegal to run out of fuel. And usually, those who do end up paying very hefty fines. I personally think it's a good policy because imagine you're driving down the autobahn at, I don't know, 250 kilometers per hour, for example. The last thing you'd want to see is a car parked in the middle of the road because it has run out of fuel. Other actions that could get you fined while driving include road rage. Like for example, sticking out your tongue at another motorist gets you a fine of 150 euro. Calling someone an idiot on the other hand sets you back 750 euro. For the British people out there, calling someone this word, well, that's a thousand euro and finally showing another motorist the middle finger can get you a fine of about 4,000 euro. Absolutely crazy if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. The way I usually call people who do dumb shit on the road idiots. I genuinely have to be careful when I get my license because I don't think I'll be having 750 euro to waste. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that you're still here. Thank you, by the way, for sticking around this far into the video. I genuinely do not take it for granted. The only thing I would ask is for you to leave a like on today's episode as it really does help with the algorithm. Lastly, if you're new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. We are super close to reaching 1000 subscribers. Please help us get there. That way, the videos that I make are able to reach a larger audience as the more you guys like the videos and subscribe to the channel, the more people that the video gets recommended to. Anyway, enough about the YouTube algorithm and let's get back to the video. One other thing that I noticed in the first couple of months after moving to Germany is that no one physically washes their car at home. So I decided to ask a close friend of mine why she doesn't physically wash her own car at home and she told me 
in verbatim and i quote i don't want to waste my money paying for fines and i was like what bro what are you talking about man apparently if you wash your own car in your own home using water that you pay for and another individual sees you doing so they could go and report you to the relevant authorities such as the police and eventually you could end up getting a very hefty fine in the mail so the reason for the presence of this rule is because when you wash your car using soaps that contain harmful chemicals you eventually have to rinse the soap off of your car and these toxins not only drain into the wastewater system but also in some cases this contaminated water ends up getting into water sources such as rivers and some lakes and other forms of underground water which contaminates the clean water for everyone. So that's why you are only allowed to wash your car in an approved car wash facility that has a filtration system that ensures contamination of water does not happen. So that this video doesn't last for another 30 minutes, I'm going to quickly run through the rest of the interesting laws and cultural norms I came across in a quick fire segment. Let me know in the comment section down below the ones that you did or did not know. Number one, in Germany, after the cremation of a deceased loved one, it is illegal to take and keep the ashes in an urn in your own home. The ashes have to be buried in a licensed graveyard and can only be handled by licensed funeral homes. Two, speaking to a police officer in an informal tone, particularly when using the German language, could land you into trouble. Conversations between police officers and civilians must be in a formal tone. Next, it is considered to bring bad luck when you wish someone a happy birthday before the actual day of their birthday. Number four, I think. I, I think one number four. Anyway, we've all come across this one person who has a very, very weird name. Well, in Germany, you can't decide to give your child any sort of name. For example, you can't decide to name your child Lord or Princess or even Superman, for example. It has to be an appropriate name. Also, you can't just wake up one morning and decide that you want to change your own name. There has to be a very good reason for the change. For example, let's say you've just gotten married and you want to take the surname of your husband. Lastly, and some of the most obvious rules that you should not break while in Germany are, for example, you cannot deny the crimes of the Holocaust. You cannot do the Nazi salute. You should not use public transport without a ticket. And finally, Ruhenzeiten, which translates to rest periods, meaning Sundays, public holidays and any normal day past 8 p.m., you are not allowed to participate in loud activities such as mowing the lawn, drilling and banging. Wait, wait, wait. Not that kind of banging. This kind of banging. And there you have it. If you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, bye bye!